A trustee owes a fiduciary duty to the trust beneficiaries to act in their best interests. This duty includes the duty to exercise reasonable care in administering the trust. As the trustee learned in National Academy of Sciences versus Cambridge Trust, sometimes this means checking up on the beneficiaries themselves. Leonard Troland left all his property to be held in trust by Cambridge Trust, with the income paid to Troland's wife, Florence, until her death or remarriage. At that time, trusteeship was to pass to the National Research Council, an agency of the National Academy of Sciences, to become a research trust with the income going to the Academy. Troland died in 1932, and Cambridge began to pay the trust income to Florence. In 1945, Florence married Edward Flynn and moved to New Jersey, but didn't tell Cambridge that she'd remarried. Instead, she directed Cambridge to forward her checks to her sister's husband. The checks were made payable to Florence R. Troland. Florence would endorse the checks as Florence R. Troland and return them to her brother-in-law, who'd then endorse them himself and deposit them in various bank accounts in his name. During this time, Cambridge presented regular accounts to the probate court, which the court allowed. In the accounts, the bank recited that the trust was for the benefit of Florence R. Troland and that monthly payments were made to Florence R. Troland. The Academy had notice of these accounts and didn't challenge them because it didn't know that Florence had remarried. When Florence died in 1967, Cambridge and the Academy learned about her remarriage. The Academy petitioned the probate court to revoke the allowance of the trust accounts and to order Cambridge to repay all funds distributed to Florence after she remarried. After a hearing, the court revoked the allowance and ordered Cambridge to restore the funds to the trust. The appellate court affirmed, and Cambridge appealed to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court.